So welcome and good morning from Julie Q from Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia coming to you with another test pour. I am actually testing, testing, testing um, the Montmart pouring medium with uh, into my uh, Montmart signature acrylic paints and I'm going to test the secret ingredient being I'm putting Boom Gel uh, Booster into my paints. This video I'm doing a uh, voiceover because my recording didn't record. This is the Montmartre Signature Acrylics that I'm using and that is the acrylic pouring medium. So all of these products available in the link in the drop down box for Capriol Shabby Chic if in Australia and if not um, Amazon elsewhere. Showing you that the amount of paint that I put in each cup was about the same, say about three centimetres in the bottom of the cup and then I just added pouring medium until I got the right consistency and every colour paint took up different amounts of pouring medium so that's why it's pointless me telling you to weigh it out because they all took different amounts. In each cup I put three drops of the Boom Booster Boom Booster which is uh, meant to uh, complement your um, Boom Gel Stain paints. Oh, and there's a lovely little one I did earlier with the Boom Booster in it, in the paints. Um, you will have seen that video by now. If you haven't, please look for it it's on my channel. Um, that was a flip and lip. And now I'm going to try the other style with these paints and that pouring medium and the Boom Booster to see what kind of results I get and what kind of cells they produce in um, this paint. I will, oh, what am I doing with me Donnies there? I'm pointing here, pointing there. I think I'm telling you that I'm going to do a um, swipe down the centre. What happens with this particular video is I get to four minutes, check my, oh, oh this gets to four minutes and switches off with the same problem that I've been having with this particular iPad keep freezing. So, um, hence the voiceover as well, because the voice didn't come out on it, except for the next half after this, it did. So, the gremlins in the system. But, you know, you just go with the flow, don't you, and um, pour your heart out, <laughs> whatever, through adversity. So, this that I'm fiddling and twirling and playing with there is my... Uh, very delicious that I make up so I think I use the you can either use the carmine or the uh, brilliant red and then add some phalo blue to it you if you'd like it to go even darker like the deep cherry then add a blob of black I was having to thicken some of these uh, add water to these paints as I was going along because they would thickened up since I made them so um, obviously using the Montmartre pouring medium is completely different ball game than when I make up my own pouring medium with the glue and water. It's, you know, it's getting me getting used to the consistency that that produces. This is the Brilliant Red, or is that Carmine? No, I think that's Carmine, yes it is. Uh, and I use the Metallic Silver Obviously, the carmine's thickened up too that I'm having to add. Okay, guys, oh, so I've got four minutes it. into the video again. Just come to check it before I go to swipe. And the video had gone off at four minutes. Oh, I'm so annoyed with this flipping, flopping craziness happening with my equipment at the moment. So, okay, I have just put poured all over the canvas the uh, Montmartre signature acrylics as I was explaining it's the orange I've used the bright yellow 
I've used turquoise, I have used pink, uh, the berry delicious that I make myself out of the phalo blue and crimson and what else have I used and I'm now just about to swipe with the navy and let's hope this camera does not go off just took my gloves off trying to get to the camp do the camera anyway it was all these absolutely delicious colors and they're just beautiful together I tilted just nice and slowly tilted so all the paints were you know covering your whole canvas and the side so this is the phalo blue one blob of black and a little squirt of very dark green and it makes a beautiful navy so I'm going to just do a very thin line walk the thin line through this I'm so sorry that I Miss, you missed out on the bits and I can't even remember what I was talking about to repeat them so I've just got my soft plastic file divider and um, I'm going to do my swipe so remembering this is the test with the boom booster and the Montmartre pouring medium so so let's do it oh you can look at look oh my goodness it's kind of they kind it kind of sets about a whole different kind of cells they're like little um champagne cells wowzers okay move this one down remember i'm using the montmartre pouring medium as well so sort of really makes the canvas when it dries like really quite like you wouldn't even need any varnish on it I'm going to turn this around I might turn it to that that way so let's see what's happening I'm nervous now that my camera's going to go off so I keep checking it so I'm going to just put teeny weeny bit more down here I just want a thin line because you can see how much that um, swipe color only using a teeny weeny thin line can cover the whole canvas but hopefully when I do the um, heat gun it will sort of um, not look so dark hopefully so this was basically testing that boom cell enhancer and the Montmartre pouring medium. Okie doke. Uh, I love the colours through it already. Let's see what my... Um, this is a heat wand. Lots of people have asked me where they get them from. In Australia, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It's on the Capriole Shabby Chic site and the link is below. If you're in the US or Europe, UK, um, Amazon, you will find them on Amazon and they're called a heat wand or a heat embossing wand. And I think this one is three, uh, this says it's 300 watt. 300 watt? Yeah. Uh, So they're very hot, not like a hairdryer, so don't put your hand underneath. Oh, look at those little champagne cells coming up. Holy dooly. Look at those. Oh my goodness. They give a completely different cell to the um, Helmar silicon. Holy dooly. I'm not sure if you're seeing what I'm seeing. Oh, the colours are beautiful. Oh, those are, I'm not sure if you can, they're just the tiny little champagne cells, so really pretty little, pretty little ones. Oh my 
goodness, see, it's so much darker through this camera. Oh, it's annoying. It looks like a really nice reflection swipe over an ocean or very nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just leave this to dry off for a bit, for a little while, and I'm going to come back and give it a balloon. Um, I, well, what it is, is just leaving it for a few minutes before. You can actually leave it 20 to 30 minutes if you've got enough paint on there. It lets the canvas absorb the paint. And then before you balloon, use your balloon for the kisses. Um, they seem to work better, especially if you're new to doing the balloon kisses, you get a better result. So I'll just be back soon. So we're back again. It's about half an hour now um, that I've left that. The cells have just stayed tiny like little champagne cells and it's quite refreshing to have something different. So I'm going to just see what my balloon work. Um, my happy balloon you see. Happy balloons. See what I can get out of it. I'm just moving things aside. I just want to use the same puppy pee pad to actually dab my balloon residue onto without using the new one. So just fold that over, pulling it all. Okay, just double check. I just want to use that to dab my balloon paint onto. So see how we go. And let's see what kind of balloon kissing does and these colours because we know all those absolutely gorgeous colours are there so I'm not sure whether to do a... Oh, let's deal with this, let's just give it one balloon kiss and see. So you're pushing the balloon in, pulling it back up. Oh wowzers, look at that, oh my goodness. That is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, hold the balloon... Um, like you're holding the belly button of the balloon if you're not used to doing this and then I don't blow my balloons up really crazy big so you've got a bit of you can grab them a bit this one is actually a bit harder than I would normally so just push it in pull it up you can go back over it but I like to wipe off in between wow yeah, this feels completely different doing the balloon kissing with this, using this particular pouring medium and the, um, that boom gel paint, um, boom cell booster. So I'm thinking I might do some little ones in between those. Wow, they've really held their shape. So this is just the little water balloon I've got. Uh, well, it's not a water balloon. It's just an ordinary balloon. I just put water in it. So I might just keep the kissing, the balloon kissing down the centre in that dark navy. Just something different than all over it, isn't it? Look at that. Look how the... Well, I will do close-up photos of these little balloon kisses. It's just gorgeous. They seem to really be holding their shape well. So that's very interesting. I mean, this paint could probably do with drying off even more. Um, so this is the baby kisses. Baby kisses. Go back over them if you've got plenty of paint there. Sometimes people say it's leaving the showing the canvas underneath. Well, if so, just get a collect a bit more paint and re press it back in. There you go, it's gorgeous. I like it. So, considering that glitch in the video stopping when I was um, pouring my putting my paints all over the canvas which is you know you if you uh, see my other videos on this same technique it was just the same so wow look at that I think I'm gonna leave those sides now and I'm gonna leave it at that so there you go I'm pretty happy with that I'm Happy Jen, I'm happy Jen. 
So there you go. Let me know what you think, guys, but I love those colours. I love that particular um, effect in the uh, with that boom booster with those tiny little champagne cells. But please wait till the end and I'll put the photos on and I'll put some photos of the puppies on. And of course, my Nana joke. So bye for now. Thanks so much for joining me. My son said to his dad, can you explain to me, Dad, what a solar eclipse is? No, son. <gasps> yes, you may roll your eyes. Oh, my goodness. Now for the cuteness puppy overload. Enjoy. I was so pleased with how this dried and how the teeny tiny um, champagne cells turned out in it. Even the balloon kissing was just like bursts of fireworks very excited just was a completely different look which is always nice when you're exploring or experimenting in your art lab so thanks for joining me again bye for now